everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. I've been asked so many times to share more information from the Silver Era and Bronze Era athletes as they did not rely as much on steroids and therefore their methods tend to suit the natural athlete way better. So in this video, I thought I would share the less common Silver Era exercises used to develop the biceps peak. Silver Era bodybuilders developed fantastic peak in their biceps using a principle called the peak contraction method, which incorporated what we nowadays call the continuous tension principle. This technique required one to apply tension throughout the whole motion, that is the concentric, the top, the eccentric and the bottom position of the motion, unlike typical biceps curling movements that have varying degrees of tension applied to the muscle, of which most is lost at the top of the movement. This technique was exclusively used again as a specialization method and therefore not suitable for the beginner and instead is suitable for the advanced lifter that has developed sufficient bulk in their physique and is desiring to shape and sculpt that bulk into more classical proportions. Now the program outlined is an excellent program designed by Alan Steffen who was Mr. America of 1946 and he describes this program for developing that biceps peak using the continuous tension principle using the following exercises. The incline bench pulley curl, the one arm incline bench curl, the supine bench curl with dumbbells as well as the barbell concentration curl. Looking at the first exercise, the incline bench pulley curl, in this exercise you face the cable station and lie on an incline bench and having the straight bar attachment at a height that allows the resistance to cause a great pull on your extended arms as shown. The pull should be horizontal and away from you and not above or below you. Using a close grip and keeping the upper arms extended and straight, curl the lower arms towards your shoulders, tucking the knuckles under the chin and raising the elbows at the very top of the motion to give an incredible cramp to the biceps muscles. You can start with 3 sets of 10 reps and work up to 3 sets of 15 reps before increasing the weight of the exercise and you want to perform each rep deliberately and slowly. Understand that especially for developing the biceps peak, many silver era bodybuilders would complete each curl by raising the elbows and in doing so, it would cause a greater contraction, like a second contraction. You could almost call this a double contraction technique. Try it yourself and you'll see what I mean. It causes a great cramp in the biceps and really starts adding more height and peak to your biceps. The next exercise is with the one arm incline bench curl. This exercise was a favorite of Rich Park and in this exercise you set up the incline bench on a very steep angle like 70 degrees and you extend both arms down and again curl each arm slowly and deliberately and do not move the upper arm as you do. You feel the main stress on the belly of the biceps but once you have finished curling the dumbbell as high as possible that's when you can start bending the back of your wrist and start raising the elbow as high as possible tensing the biceps further. Slowly lower the weight and repeat. Perform this exercise for three sets of eight reps, working up to three sets of 15 reps before increasing the poundage. The supine bench curl with dumbbells was probably one of the most difficult of all biceps movements and favored by many silver era bodybuilders as it targeted and isolated the biceps so well. Try it and you feel it, I promise you. To perform the exercise, simply lie down on a high bench face up, holding two dumbbells and let the arms hang straight down. I wouldn't use too much weight because it is a very effective exercise with light weight alone. Curl the dumbbells up, keeping the elbows back to isolate the biceps more. At the top though, effect a greater contraction by raising the elbows again. You can also vary each set by performing one set with the wrists supinated or in a neutral position. This version with the grip in a neutral grip is one that was favored by the likes of Vince Gironda and simulated the motion of a hammer curl but had an entirely different effect. Because of the position of the arms, it actually would work the outside of the biceps and bring out the cephalic vein. Vince would also perform this exercise on an incline bench, but that is a story for another day. 
Initially, you want to perform four sets of eight repetitions working up to four sets of 15 reps before increasing the weight. And as a tip, the movement may feel uncomfortable at first and affect a great pull on the shoulders and chest. And one way to get around this is to bring your head up a bit as you perform the exercise. The final exercise of this specialization course is the bench concentration curl and yes it looks very similar to the spider bench curl made famous again by Vince Gironda and the likes of Larry Scott and Don Howarth who used this staple exercise for biceps peaking with great effect. Simply lie face down on a high bench and preferably tilt the end of the bench on which you are curling and then it basically is just like performing the spider bench curl. Make sure that you lie well up to the edge of the bench so that the back of your upper arms rest on the edge of the bench. Holding a barbell, let your arms completely hang straight down and at the start of the motion and slowly you want to start deliberately curling the weight right up under the chin and hold the contraction for a short count, lowering the weight slowly and deliberately to the starting position. Use a close grip, working 3 sets of 10 reps and work up to 3 sets of 15 reps before increasing the weight. So that was the biceps peaking program. I do hope you have enjoyed this video on the silver era biceps peaking exercises. And if you have, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. We're almost at 60,000 subscribers. And my goal is to get to 100,000 subscribers, ideally by the end of 2022. So please spread the word. Please leave me your comments and remember to click the bell button to be notified of future videos. And if you do happen to use these exercises or try them out, please let me know in the comments section. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. Online training is now available, including my new program, Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique, as well as Classic Cut, geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabooking.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platts, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Gironda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles, and all these tips of wisdom that he has, I mean, there's so much stuff that probably hasn't been proven by science, and it will take science to prove or disprove uh, Vince, but to be honest, these three books I believe, which I call the Classic Physique Bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Gironda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles. But how do you put them together? Well, the Master Series is a 14-month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises, and believe me, it's a brilliant, brilliant program. Many people have used it. I know I know personally a lot of uh, bodybuilders that have actually used it and uh, f made fantastic results with it. And of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just these, these three books, as I call it, the Classic Physique Bundle, uh, Vince's best work, and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com. Now, the Pro Series of Bodybuilding, which was targeted for professional bodybuilders, is a contains six programs, each of which go for two months each, so it's a whole year, uh, again, in preparation for competition. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. To take full advantage of my collaborations, use code GEB20 with nspnutrition.com and vincegeronda.com as well as code bookworm12 at osl.com for a discount at checkout.